So today I'll be we'll be teaching you how to do queries. So the query we're going to be doing today is about greater than and less than. So we're going to go to Microsoft Access. We're going to click on the folder and name the file. And save it where you want to save. Now we're going to click create. Then we're going to go to external data, text file, browse, and select the data that we're going to be using today. Okay. Next, and we're going to first row contains field names so that the first row has a line through the field names and the data. And now we're going to click next, next, next and then finish. So there's our data. So we're going to create a query. So we go to create query wizard and then we're going to select all the fields. So we're going to click next, next and modify the query design so that we go straight into the design view. So we're going to be doing a query of all fields from the kite data table named greater than 15 which selects only sizes that are greater than 15 as you can see we're typing below the size column at criteria and we're going to be typing greater than 15 now we're going to run it as you can see it's more than 15 now we're going to be doing another query and we're going to do the same process as we did before. Now we're going to do less than 3 under the size. So we're going to do less than 3. We're going to run it. As you can see, it's all less than 3. Now we're going to be doing another query. Same process. But we're going to be doing equals to 10 under the size. This is all going to be under the size because that's the only field that contains numbers. And I'm going to run. As you can see, it's equal to 10. Now we're going to create another query. And under the size, we're going to do greater than or equal to 15. So we're going to type it in criteria 15. We're going to do run it. As you can see, it's equal to and it's also greater than. Now we're going to create another query, which is going to be the last query. And then it's going to be less than or equal to 3. So less than symbol, then equal symbol, then 3. Now I'm going to run it. As you can see, it's equal to 3 and less than 3. Now we're going to close all database files. And, then and make sure you save it. Yes, 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 yes. And then we're going to file. Then we're going to go to Google. Then we're going to go to Gmail. Then we're going to open the Gmail. Then compose and name it whatever you want or send it to where you need to send it. Then we're going to select what we did and then send it.
Thank you for listening.